All right, everyone, please excuse the mess of my uniform because today we are customizing an undercover cop car, the Vapid Unmarked Cruiser to be exact. Pretty neat, came with the Chop Shop DLC. It's the first customizable uh, cop car we have gotten. Very nice, let's put some armor on, some brakes, some engine that goes all the way up, lights. I did do a customization of the other cop car already and I put red lights on that one, so I think I'll do the same for this. Maybe blue, blue might look better for an undercover car actually. Maybe, we'll see. For the police equipment, we can do push bar and spotlights. And that's it. Just two spotlights up here. It looks like they don't fold out either, which is a little sad. Reef spray, what can we do here? This is my black crew color, very black. Feeling for an undercover one, might do like a light blue kind of thing. I do like how they look uh, with that color. Maybe like a Saxon blue, maybe a nautical blue. I wonder if you could like slam this car, make it like a tuner looking thing, that'd be crazy. Let's save the reef spray for right now. Suspension, you can lower that. You can sell it if you want for 1.85 so far. Trans it up, turbo it up. On to the wheels already some track wheels on no absolutely not i do think i want to keep it as another undercover kind of car the gray is nice i think i do want to make it all black Let's see maybe some muscle wheels i think there are a cop kind of wheel here actually i don't mind the stock wheels actually they are a little bit bigger in the tread as you can see these are muscle wheels that i'm putting on there the rim is a little high profile as well so not a whole lot of rubber i was hoping i can't remember which category it's in but there's definitely some kind of like cop kind of wheel it might be an off-road. Ah, police issue steely. I mean, that makes sense. Off-road tread isn't too great. How about let's do old school. It's kind of got that vibe to it as the stock ones. You can do a carbon black for the color. Could bulletproof it. I'll definitely put it on after, but I want to see if you can stance it. Do that right outside, but that seems to be, I think we'll do a limo tint so no one can see inside our cop car. And that looks like it's about it for the undercover car. So let's head outside. Let's give it a little walk around first. Actually, no, let's give it a sound test first. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy. Can't shoot any flames I've noticed either. All right, well, let's take it for a drive. Off the bat, seems to handle like, I would think an upgraded cop car would feel like. It is definitely on a bit of the slower side at first. Let's turn on the sirens. Pretty cool stuff. It does seem to handle okay though. I'm gonna turn the sirens off because it's a little annoying. But there's not a whole lot of understeer. I did get a little bit there. But there's no oversteer as well, so pretty planted. Very nice feeling for driving around. Sirens are pretty cool. There are a couple different versions you can do. If you just press E on keyboard, if you're on PC, you can do this one. If you double tap it and hold, you get this one. I do like it a little bit more. It's a little louder. And then if you hold it, you get a kind of horn blare thing. Pretty neat. If you have the horn off, but if you double tap it, you kind of get like a little burst of horn. There's many different sounds you can do. Pretty neat. Just to kind of signal someone to move over if you want, I guess. All in all, pretty sick though. The price, I do have to say, is quite a bit much. For the car alone, it's 2.9 million trade price. I believe it's about 3.9 untrade price. And all you'll have to do is just survive about five minutes on a three-star wanted level. And then I think you can put it in any garage you want, but you can only customize it in the, your personally owned customized shops. So no Los Santos Customs. But that can mean the facility, the agency, the arena workshop, I'm pretty sure the CEO garage as well. So if you have any of those, you're all good to go. I think that's it for our drive. Pretty solid drive, I'd say. Good handling, nothing too special. Not crazy fast, but I do want to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's open up all the doors. Very cool. In the back, we get nothing in the back. Empty trunk for all the bodies you want to put in there. Back seats, got a little bit of a grate between the drivers and the passengers back here. It does look like the door handles are still in there, which I wouldn't really expect Rockstar to take out. But in real life cop cars, I do think they have them removed so that uh, whoever's in the back can't escape. Other than that, pretty, pretty cool. Engine looks like a regular 2013 kind of engine. And you do get a little radio something up there. That's about it. No radar kind of gun, not a lot of police equipment. Definitely undercover kind of boy. Also, I'm an idiot. I forgot to try and stance it. And I think you do that by just shooting the middle of the wheel until it goes all the way down. I might have to do multiple tries and not blow it up, but just you can't hit the tire because then it'll pop. So let's see, let's do 40. That went pretty low. Damn, what if we do more? Oh yeah, okay. So let's do a full mag in each one. All right, looking good, no smoke. Damn, look at that, now it's slammed. 
pretty sick. I bet it would look even cooler if you had some like better wheels on. It's very nice. I mean, it's not practical. I'd much rather have bulletproof tires. I think this might lower the handling as well, but this is what you do to kind of get drift cars before we had that drift tuning stuff and the low grip tires. It's pretty sick. It definitely looks cooler. You can do this with pretty much every car, I think, as long as it doesn't have bulletproof tires. Yeah, very cool. That's about it for the undercover Vapid Cruiser. Pretty sick, a little overpriced. Uh, you definitely need a lot of money to purchase it, but it's very cool that we can finally purchase it. It only took about 10 years. Now we can recall them, repair them, don't have to seal them and have to deal with the broken glass everywhere. I am definitely very happy with this one. I will say compared to the LE Cruiser, I believe that's the uh, not undercover one. That one feels a little bit faster, I think. They, they are very close together, but I feel like I just feel a little bit faster in the LE Cruiser. But the undercover aspect is very cool. It definitely looks like kind of a regular car besides the bull bar up front, and then you got the sirens. Oh, it's not a bad thing to own a cop car. If you have the lights on, like, the NPCs will move right out of the way for you. It's pretty nice there. This guy... This guy's a little more stubborn. Other than that, though, it's pretty sick. Obviously, it's not really a must-have kind of vehicle. It's more of a kind of cruise around. It is a cruiser, haha, but more just fun and free mode kind of stuff. I wouldn't really take it on a mission. There's many other faster, more armored, better options. Ugh. But it's very cool to have this. I'm so happy they added this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited to use cop cars, if it's a pointless thing for you, or just however how you feel about them. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't. Consider subscribing if you want to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one.